Hi guys, Chris, we're back again with another episode of my York City Simulated Career. We're going to roll through the month of November in this episode and see what we can get up to. We have a game coming up against Millwall. First we have a scouting report to check out from Harrison Shelby. Okay, two players, Torres and Palacios. Palacios doesn't look that great. Torres doesn't look quite so bad, so we'll keep scouting him. And we will look to get this game against Millwall underway. Okay, Victor Soriano praises fair boss. We will quickly check the team out. And one thing I forgot to do in the previous episodes was see how the form's going. Wow, we are in absolutely shocking form. No wonder we uh, lost the last couple of games. I need to do something about this as soon as we can. Although I am slightly baffled as to what we can do with... Uh, the players being so low on form. Taylor's got a bit of form, so we can bring him in. So Samov. Um, how are the other midfielders doing? I'll tell you what, we've got a fair few strikers in form, so I'm going to bring Pranic into the uh, central attacking midfielder role and have Soriano and Canteros up front. And we want to get this game underway. That seems to be the players who had the best form that we can get get away with. Millwall have been out of form themselves, scoring only one goal in their last three games, losing all three. And they lose this one 2-1. Goals from Canteros and Silva. Giving York the win. A much needed win to get our promotion push back on track. Okay, Reading lost as well and they were near us in the table. As we have a monthly scouting report from my guy in the Ivory Coast. Okay, Aduma looks awful. Omabe, not too bad. Duna we'll get rid of. And Quay we'll get rid of. Any player that's uh, rated lower than 80, I don't want to keep. And I just want to keep the best players that I can. So you're thinking about the future more than anything else. Okay, we'll get the schedule moved on. And look to get this game against Charlton underway as soon as we possibly can. Okay, players leaving on international duty. Okay, we have Vilverde, Milanov and Samov all leaving on international duty soon. I'd like to get this schedule moved on again and get this next game underway as Pina faces visit from old teammates. Okay, I'll quickly check the squad ahead of this next game. Make sure everything is okay. I don't think there's too many changes we are going to need to make. Okay, let's see how the form's looking. Not too bad. Uh, we're getting better, which is a good sign. Okay, I'm not going to change a winning team. Those players are the players that have won the last game. Their form is increasing, so we will keep with those players for the time being. As well, Charlton beat Man United. But they can't beat us. Goals from Silver and Pranich seal a 2-1 victory for York. There's more news stories about Witzel. But we shall get this schedule moved on. We've got a fairly big break coming up until our next game, which is against second place Sunderland. Okay, player returns from injury. Perez Alonso has returned from injury. That's great news. We'll get the schedule moved on and get this next game against Sunderland underway as soon as we can. Quickly check the team. Make sure everyone is getting better with the form and energy levels are okay. Well, form is coming back, which is great news. Reno Fuentes is out of form, but he's probably one of the better midfielders that we have available at present. Quickly check everyone else. How is everyone else looking? Uh, well, Luke Shaw and Valverde are completely out of form, but there's not much we can do. It's just a case of bringing them on and seeing how everyone gets on. Well, I think that's there's about as much as we can do for now. And we will look to get this next game against Sunderland underway as soon as possible, who are unbeaten in their last three games. They've beat Leicester and Forest and drew with Cardiff. They can't beat us though. Finally the form has turned around. Moreno Fuentes and Soriano with the goals. As Patterson enjoying York City involvement. 
I'm not surprised, fella. You are one of my best central defenders. Wow, another tough game coming up against fifth place QPR. Okay, we're only two points behind QPR in the table and two positions. Ideally do with at least a point in this game to keep our position there. Wow, we've got a couple of tough games events. Fifth place QPR, then sixth place Reading. We'll get this schedule moved on. And we will look to get this game against QPR underway as soon as we can. We'll check the squad out and we'll move it to a four-star team as well. Form is looking good for, for most players. I don't really think there's many changes I want to make. We'll keep the team as as it is, I think, really, is the best thing we can do. Um, yeah, we may as well keep it as is. We won the last three games. No real need to change. Okay, QPR are unbeaten in their last three. Drawn two and won one. Okay, QPR take the game at 3-0. Patterson sent off before the 27th minute. And Balanta with a hat-trick. Okay, pretty disappointing result. Jordan Patterson picks up a one-game ban. Taylor out of form and Romare misses chance to impress. He's not played well and he uh, did get sent off a while ago, so I think uh, we may look to replace him. As a red card was unjust, says I. Well, we shall see. We'll move the schedule on and get this game against Reading underway as soon as we can. OK, we'll look to get this match against Reading underway as soon as we can, but we'll quickly check the team out. Patterson needs to come out. And we'll give uh, Perez Alonso a game. Bacon could come into the starting 11. He has a bit more form, as does Morris. And also Samov. Other than that, I think we'll keep most of the team the same. Nothing else really we can do. We are, we are struggling for, for form quite badly at this moment in time. And we'll look to get this game against Reading underway, who have won two of their last three games. They have Mills injured as well as Gilherme. And it's a one all draw. Samov injured. Canteros opened the scoring after 24 minutes and it was a last minute equaliser for Reading. As we have Jordan Patterson suspension over. We have Samov out for five months. Well, wow. And we have a scouting report. Torres looking okay. Navarro, well, 84. Delgado 90 and Mendes 71 will reject you. And we'll keep these others, keep them scouted. And we'll look to get the schedule moved on and get the next game underway. Okay, we currently sit 8th in the table. We have a game coming up against 21st place Sheffield Wednesday. But we have a bit of a break before that game. So I'll look to get the schedule moved on. But before that, we have a scouting report from the Ivory Coast. 78, 90, 88. Okay, we'll get rid of this uh, 78 rated. Keep these other two. And we'll see how they progress. And we'll get the schedule moved on as quickly as we possibly can. Unfortunately, no game to play for a while because of internationals. And I don't yet have an international uh, manager offer. I may look to purchase one from the store. But I may do that towards uh, February, March time, unless we get an offer in before then. Well, this game against Sheffield Wednesday coming up now as we have a pain visit former teammates. OK, let's we'll quickly check the squad ahead of this game against Sheffield Wednesday. Romare is out of form, but Patterson is back from suspension, so he can come in. Oh, who do we have that can come in for Samov, because he's injured? Um, Moreno Fuentes is up to a 78. He could potentially be the one that we bring in. And we need to take Samov off the bench, as he's injured so we will look to bring in I may give Castillo a game to be fair. I tell you what we'll bring a we'll bring Oddie J onto the bench. Oh, looks to be it for now. He's got a bit of form going. 
we we'll look to get this game against Sheffield Wednesday underway as soon as we can. Here we go. Sheffield Wednesday have been completely out of form. Lost their last three. 2-1, two 2-0 two and 2-1. Two okay, they lose this game 1-0. A goal from Prenich after 61 minutes seals the victory for York. Okay, no love lost for pain. Nope, not really. He definitely wouldn't have got in the team with the uh, current crop of players we have. As we have an important game coming up against ninth place Blackpool. It's a game we really need to win. We're starting to slip down the table a bit on the automatic playoff places. We're four points behind Reading. We'll get this schedule moved on and get this game against Blackpool underway as soon as we can. As we have a player returning from injury, Honor Hayams is returning. He's on his way back from injury. I'm going to check the team out ahead of this next game against Blackpool. Okay, form. Okay, everyone's out of the red. Apart from some of my substitutes. Um, yeah, we'll bring Yago on and drop Luke Shaw now. Hayams will bring you onto the bench instead of Taylor or Silver. Which one shall I drop? I'll drop Taylor. Who else? Anyone else we can look to bring on? Castillo? No. I think we're not looking too bad on the bench. Canteros and Soriano. Tell you what, I'll drop Soriano and give Mattox a game. And we want to get this game against Blackpool underway as soon as we possibly can. Okay, Blackpool are unbeaten in their last three games. They have two players suspended as well. Okay, we take a 1-0 win. A goal from Mattox after 39 minutes. Seals the victory for York. And that moves us up to 7th in the table. Wow, a couple of tough games coming up. We are playing QPR again. And then we have a game against Sunderland. Check the squad out. For this next game against QPR, I don't think there's going to be many changes I need to make. Everyone's in green form now, which is absolutely fantastic. Any player who's not on any sort of form is silver. But there's no one on the bench really that we can uh, bring in. So we'll just have to stick with the same team. Okay, last time we played QPR we lost 3-0. So what we're going to do, we're going to hope to do better than that this time. They won two of their last three, and they win this one 3 0 again. Two penalties from Joey Barton. As Vidal Perot is suspended. Okay, that means Luke Shaw may have to come in for this game, or I could just drop right down to Iago. Well, a bit of a, a tough loss that one. Could have done without that. I'll get this game against. Sunderland underway as soon as we possibly can. Check the squad out ahead of this game. Okay, the form has dropped slightly, which is uh, not a good thing. We'll have to bring Luke Shaw in. Anyone else that we can bring into midfield? I uh, don't really want to bring Dolly in if I can help it. Uh, yeah, I think it will be. Oh, I tell you, we've got Honor Hayams. We can uh, bring him him in. Other than that, I think it looks not too bad. Soriano's got some good form. So we shall bring him in instead of Canteros. Other than that, team looks okay. We'll get this game against Sunderland underway. Okay, Sunderland are unbeaten in their last three games. They have one one and drawn two. Okay, they win this one two one. Of course from Gardner and Fletcher. And Milanov opened the scoring for York. Vidal Perra has completed his suspension as well. Okay, we'll look to get the schedule moved on. And I'm probably gonna call it a day here guys. And in the next episode I'll look to bring you as much of the January transfer window as I can. But I may need a bit of time to scout some players out, see if we can have some 
new faces into the club that will hopefully lift the spirits and lift the form. Okay, scouting report. Not telling me anything that I didn't already know. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it a day there. And if you have any uh, suggestions on players to bring in in the January transfer window, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Cheers.